There are a lot of interesting features about this guitar. Um, some were kind of brought to me and some I brought to it. One of the things that, that Gretsch had noticed, which was really funny, was in one music video I played a, uh, before I was playing Gretsch's, I, I, had had a, um, I had had something that had three pickups. I never touched them. It just happened to be that that was the guitar that I had. And in fact, I, I tried it out later and didn't like that guitar. But they liked the idea so much, they were like, well, we have a three pickup idea. And I was like kind of skeptical, but pretty immediately I, I found so many benefits to having it. Um, specifically, there's one of the things that uh, Pete and I would always get in arguments about would be um, on records, I would have parts sometimes where I'd be like, I think this should be an acoustic part, you know, or something like that. And he'd be like, why bother? Because we're never gonna play it live. But I noticed that if I switch everything to all of them blaring at once, and I and I put it in the middle. It, you know, depending on my on my settings, I can emulate a, an acoustic guitar really well, actually. So that kind of changed that argument pretty quick, you know. A lot of our early stuff has a very, very heavy kind of chuggy distortion, very, you know, metal distortion, and uh, I needed something that could accomplish that. They also talked me into uh, strength of the body, which I wouldn't have thought of myself, but I was very insistent that it, it meet up with this stripe, you know, that was, that was uh, very important to me. I don't know what I was thinking, I just kind of, it was something that um, at the time, I thought it was something cool and geometric and gave the impression of a, of a larger square and I don't know. And I, th I thought there was something neat and irregular about that. My original version was uh, silver with black stripes, which surprisingly never got commented on. I thought it was a very handsome guitar, but no one ever noticed it. So when I started doing my solo project, I called up some of my friends here and asked if I, you know, if I could get a special one made in, in this particular colorway. And man, that got commented on. Like that was, that was immediate. Obviously the color change affects the sound big time. One of my peculiarities, one of the things that I really insisted on was this kill switch, which actually took a long time to, to, to perfect because Quite a few songs, I'll use the effect of kind of having feedback that rhythmically uh, reacts to having a kill switch or whatever, or, or you know, wh at the time I would turn, uh, I think I would turn one pickup all the way down or something like that, and that would be my, that would be how I would get that sound. Well, you can't really do that with three pickups without having a zillion knobs, so they gave me a kill switch, which was awesome. <laughs> It's amazing to have my own signature model, especially after, you know, having, uh, you know, been just a fan of Gretsch's anyway. I used to have two, like, flight cases of, just giant flight cases full of guitars that I would bring into the studio for every imaginable sound, you know, every conceivable sound that I would have on records. As soon as I had this made, um, I remember the first session that I did after it, where I had that crate out, you know, with all these guitars, and I think we even took them out and had them all set up and everything, and I didn't end up picking up any of them because, because pretty quickly it was like, oh, another guitar, oh, other guitar, you know, it was, I could match to everything I was wanting to hear, and that was, that was crazy. This is the most versatile guitar I, I own, and it's, and it's everything I need in a guitar.